Hello. <clears throat> Good evening. Is it? Good evening, teacher. How are you, Julio? How was everything? It was a uh, a good day. Um, okay, great, fantastic. But it's it was... so. Uh -huh, tell me. It's it's been so hot uh, all day long. Oh yes, I was. Uh, I went to my school, and I was sweating a lot. My shirt, my t-shirt, and everything was uh, really, really wet. It so has was. been helpful, yes. Uh, hi, Oscar. Hello, Jose. Uh, Wendy, how are you? Jose, Oscar Amador. Jose Lino, Wendy, Paola, how are you? How is everything? Oh, good night, teacher. Good night. I'm, I'm fine. Ah, okay, great. Uh, uh, Oscar, could you do me the favor to download a little bit your camera? Uh, because I what I only see this uh from uh, side from you. Oh sure, no problem. And, and just... there is and there is a big light. Uh, I mean, it's kind of very bright, but it's like a big spot. Please help me with that one. Thank you very much. Uh, Giovanni, how, okay, let, uh, Giovanni, how are you? Yeah, I'm so far, uh, so far, so well. Thanks so much for asking. Okay, Hi. great. Okay, great, fantastic. Uh, Wendy, Paola, how are you? Wendy, at least say hello. Oscar Alexander, how are you? Oh, this is good evening. Good evening. How are you? How is everything? I'm fine. Here in my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, but you, it's uh, really, really, really good that uh that you're uh you're here. I don't know. Uh, are you able to see me? Because I see that my camera is is some, but it's kind of dark. Yeah, I don't see you. Yeah, I cannot see my myself over there. It's, uh, let me turn it off. And now it says Inglés Corporativo. Let's see what's happened right now. Teacher Gasper, double check. Could you verify it in your camera if there is a button or something like cover the camera? Yeah. Sometime. Yeah, probably your. No. Probably you is need that to, one. To check yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yes, you need to slide them to the right yeah. and to the oh, left. There is, oh, there yeah. is. Thank you. Got Thank it. you. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> yes, I have been using this uh, this uh, computer, so that's maybe happened. Carla Selena, how are you? Welcome to the class. I'm fine, thanks, teacher. Oh, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, let's see if I am ready too. <laughs> nice Thank to see you. you. Thank you. Let's see who else is over there. Melissa, how are you? How is everything? Hi, fine. Uh, oh, you have a, a beautiful flower, but uh, I, I would like to see you see uh, too. Um, Xiomara, how are you? Xiomara Violeta. How is everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How is everything? How are you? I'm fine. And you? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm very happy. Today is Friday for us. <laughs> yeah, it's the last day. Jenny, Carolina, welcome. Nice to see you. Good evening, teacher. Thank Good you. Evening. Nice to see you too, sir. Nice to see you too. How was your day? My day was stressful, but <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> okay, great. I see. You. So you're the, you're the one who's uh, taking care of kids, right? Or am I mistaken? 
Yes, it's true. Uh, okay, good. Marlene Elizabeth, nice to see you. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? How was your day? Uh, stressful, but... Yeah, stressful, but good. Yeah, that's uh, happened. <laughs> Don't ask me how my day has been because it's all right. Uh, Jorge Alberto, nice to see you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, nice uh, background that you, that you have over there. <laughs> uh, thank you. How was your day? Oh, my day was uh, very stressful it's because stressful. I was walking yeah. um, all day. Oh, yeah, that's good. But yeah, it happened like that. And thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, so let's, uh, we're going to be in a stress over here. <laughs> and a stress. And let's see, I'm talking, I'm trying, Hector Perez, how are you? How are you, Hector? How was everything? Ana Ivania, uh, Ana Ivania, Kevara, how was everything? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Yeah, I, I have a good day. Okay. Yes. Great. Uh, good, oh. good day works. Okay, it uh, has been a good uh, work day. Yes. Uh, well, at the end, so I, all jobs are stressful, and uh, but uh, <laughs> you had to take the best part of it. So, um, oh. talking uh -huh. about jobs, yes. And uh, let's see, Carla Selena, you already talk. Melissa, I guess. Melissa, I talk to you, I guess. And um, and Sophia Elizabeth, how are you? Oh, uh, teacher, she said that she is unable to turn on. Oh, uh, oh today I can yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. The camp. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. My mistake. No, no, but she's trying. She's trying. Okay, good. Thank you. And uh, uh, let's see. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Just, just, uh, just a comment. Just imagine uh, to have the capacity of uh, a learn. Uh, things very quickly. Let's say, for example, and uh, the capacity uh, and also the opportunity uh, to have, for example, a, uh, one week a fireman, then the next week a waiter, then the next the next one an accountant, oh. and so on. You know, just just imagine how it would be life with that uh, uh, path. With that, I, uh, yeah, uh, way of working is uh, it will be exciting. What do you think about that? Well, I think that it's uh, exciting also, but it's really hard uh, job. Um, uh, I I worked as a waiter. I was living in San Francisco, California, for a couple of years, and I work in, uh, as a cook. Uh, well, actually, helping my my cousin husband. He's a chef. And it has been uh, really work, you know, uh, but that was a long time ago. And uh, we were attending a lot of uh, like conventions and everything. So it's it's kind of work. But uh, every job is, is very, very hard. But what we had to do is to get the best part of it, of, of every, everyone, uh, every, every, yeah, every job. And Daniel, yes, you got, you want to make a comment? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Uh, I drive in, but with the situation with uh, uh, some someone drive and use their cell phone, it's really yes. dangerous. Yeah. So I I only hear. Uh, I think to I think I arrive to my house around to ten minutes, but I hear I just hear. Okay, okay. So, so uh, be careful. Okay. So, thank, thank you, you for letting us and uh, being uh, listening. Be careful with that. Okay, guys. So, we are going to start with our class. So, so uh, I miss some people of you that that uh, I wanted to interact with you, um, but we need to advance on this one. So, um, uh, yesterday, uh, what was the topic about that we were? Uh, oops, uh, compare, uh, share. Is shared the class. Okay, so 
Yeah, so today we're, we're going to start with the topic, Unit 7, and we were discussing a little bit uh, about passing and gerunds. Do you remember how this works? Do you remember the passive with prepositions? A little bit. Okay, let's let's uh, review a little bit quickly because in order to get where we stop, because there was there was some sentences. In fact, uh, I I guess I have one here, and uh, well, let's 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 check. Oh, you're not able to listen right now. Let me share the sound. Okay. Exercise three, grammar focus. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. Present perfect passive. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced because of overcrowding in city shelters. So remember that uh, with passive present continuous, so we always use uh, the form of be is are plus the ing form of the verb uh, to be also. So the air is being polluted by what? By by people, by cars, by factories, by companies, um, by uh, by disposals, by trash, and everything. The city streets are being damaged as a result of the heavy traffic. So uh, the city streets are being damaged because so we have we have the present uh, the present continuous passive, which is the form of B plus ing plus everything, and uh, the, the third form of the verb, a verb three. And the present perfect that we use. What do we use to form the present perfect after the subject? What do we use? What forms? You see it over there. there. It does uh -huh. have as a verb in the have, past participle. Yeah. Yes, you use have or has plus, uh, plus being plus the past participle of the main verb. So that's, that's you see some examples over there. So. Uh, there is the there is the uh, the the rules of this one. So uh, the the subject, which is the the past participle and the present continuous, and the and the third form of the verb. So it's it's like this. So how do we form the present continuous passive by using the subject? You already have this one. I just rephrase it, okay? Um, because what I care is about. So please uh, take a notebook or something. So uh, we form the present continuous passive by using this by subject plus is or are plus, uh, uh, blah, 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 sorry, uh, subject plus is, are, and ing form of the verb with the past and the par participle. Um, uh, for example, and, also, and that's the way. This describes an action that is in progress right now. We can say many trees are being cut down right now, these days, uh, by uh, uh, nowadays and everything. So we have the subject, uh, we have the the uh, the pro uh, the progress, the present continuous, and the things over there. So this is the um, this is what we did this one. Okay, so the past present perfect have been and plus the adjective. There is the there is the the grammar rule or the word order. It's not the grammar rule, but we can say it the word order. Okay, how it's, in English? Remember, and uh, as you know very well, because your English is good, by the way, and I'll hope that I talk to everyone. 
And uh, in English, we always have a subject. Does not matter which form we are using. It has to be like that. It can be uh, something, someone, uh, as we've been studying over there. So the word order of this uh, present perfect passive is uh, subject plus have or has, been plus the past participle. Okay, and there there are uh, some examples over there. We already did. Okay, here we uh, here we uh, we stop over here, right? So you were um, I asked you to look at the pictures over there, uh, to look at the this doctrine and match the sentences with the pictures. For example, what do you see on, on the first picture? Uh, up up on the on on my on my right on my left. What is that? That says number two. Uh huh. It's a farmer. It's a farm. Yes, it's a farm with uh, with many animals. With uh, what kind of animals are those? Are they cattle? Are they wild animals? Are they uh, sheep? sheep? They are sheep. Yes, they are sheep. So that's that's not that's number two, right? Uh, that's number two. I guess I I put it over there. Yes, I I even though. And what will be the next one? What do you see in the picture? And uh, write it on the chat, please. If What's happening? This is a, this picture is very popular because it's the, it's the one that all you will see it in most of the books and most of the things over there. What's happening on the picture? And what will be the sentence? The trees are are being cut down. Yes, the tree has been uh, have been cut down. Yes. Uh, the the trees have been cut down. So which Which sentence? for me is the sentence number five. Number five. So for you is number five. Yes, but uh, exactly, it's uh, I guess it's number five. Yes, and that's uh, kids trees down. They have been cut down. Yes, excellent. So that will be numbers. And the other one, the what do you see over the year? What what sentence or no? The correct way will be which sentence? Why do I have to use which in the question over there and know what? Does anybody can say something about it? Okay, teacher. I guess because we need to choose just one be among different couple of items that we have already. Yes, we just have we have a limit, uh, a number of uh, a number of items, and we have to to say to us uh, to use which instead of what. But it's the same thing. The only thing is that we use which when we have an auction. Okay, so that's and uh, you say that is number six, I guess. Uh, let me see. Yes, it's number six. And the next one, the one that is to your uh, left at the bottom on the second row. Uh, uh, tell me your own words. What do you see over there? Oh, I got. I guess I got a, a something over there. Ah, that's a number one. And um, mm -hmm. okay, so you see a, a man with a wearing a a mask, a mask. Uh, yeah the man is wearing a mask and uh, and uh, maybe some uh something is wrong right so but it, uh, you say is picture number uh, one air polluted is treating the health of people in urban areas so that's right in urban areas and uh oof, that's awful that's very awful and what what do you see over the year? Could you write? Huh? I'm sorry. 
the three. Ah, the three. Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, thank you, Romeo. Thank you very much. And uh, there is a lot of smoke coming on. I know things or something is burning. What sentence will be? Number three. Yeah, that will be number three. Yes. And the last one, of course, is number. Uh, yes, I, uh, someone wrote over there, number 10. And the last one is obvious number four that we are missing over there. So we are missing number four. So number four sentence, the, UA, the, the use of CFCs in products like air sprays created cold. Okay, uh, here's where we stop over there. And uh, we need to rewrite the sentences using the passive and the preposition given. For example, in number one, what is the preposition given? By. By, okay. And you have an example over there. What is the example that you have? Could you write it on the chat? I have it over here, you will see it. Ah, okay. The help of people and yours have been treated by the year. Yes. Thank you, Melanie. Very good. Okay. Let's analyze how uh, uh, do we can we can do to to rewrite the sentence using like this. What comes first? Okay, it says the air. I mean, the air pollution is treating the health of people in urban areas. Where do we start the sentence? You see it over there. We will do uh, another example by our own example. As you said, always we started with the subject. Uh -huh, we started the, the subject. In this case, uh, the, the subject will, will be? The health of people. The health of people. That's the subject in urban areas. Uh huh. And then we use in urban areas, and then we use the the I, present perfect or the okay. present continue or the um or the present continuous. First, verb and after and that, the, yeah. the present continuous and the, present. Oh, the, the passive voice. And the, and the passive boy, which is the third form of the verb. So, and then we start the health of people in urban areas is being treated by air pollution. You see air pollution, it was at the beginning, but now it's at the end of the sentence. Okay, that's the example. Let's try to do our own sentence. Let's see. Livestock farms have been contaminated, contaminated soil and underground water because of what will be the subject soil and underground water okay the soil that we will start with um the soil and underground uh, water Have been contaminated. Have been contaminated because because of livestock farm. Livestock war. Hey, you're good. You're good. Excellent. So I think. Oh no, I I left <laughs> this space. <laughs> I left this space to write it, but uh, I had to. I will. Uh, we have a walk on that we can use, so uh, I'll practice. So what was this? Uh, let me make it a little bigger. So, and then we can see it if it is correct. So we start with, with soil, right? The soil and? Underground. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess, uh, okay, and underground. Uh, Water. Under uh huh, underground water. Let's see if uh, that you, we write it. Uh, water. Uh huh. 
What's next? Rabin canta mineira. Aha, Rabin é com contaminated, contaminated. Aha. Because of late stop uh, forms. Aha, uh -huh. because because of uh, livestock um farms uh, farms uh, okay let's see how it say uh, it looks like it looks okay does it have a, 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 a does it uh, it has does it have sense? Yes, like you say, it, it, it has a meaning. It's very well understood. So, um, what about? Oops, no. Okay, what about the other sentences? Could you write a sentence with the with the with the rash, please? So this was number two, okay? Um, write sentences number three, four, five, and six. I'll give you like, like five, six minutes. I hope that is okay. One question, what would be in this case, for example, for, for number three? What would be the preposition to use with? Uh, but, as, a result, as a result, as a result of, and oh, um, right. as a result of, and you know you can go to the, to over here. No. Uh no, over there to the grammar form, and you can you can see the and, and you can see the structure over there. For example, this one is, there is one that it says, I don't know what's happened. I put the third sentence over there. It says the streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Uh huh. So, and uh, so let's see. These are the, okay. Uh, how would you start the sentence in number three? As it rain. As it rain. Mm. Is the result as the result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Okay. Okay. As it rain as a result for burning gas, oil, and coal. But then we are missing over there, uh, has created. So write it in the chat and I will, uh, what I want you guys is to understand very well this one. Okay, because those are exercises are in the on the platform over there. Um, could you write a, a sentence over there about it, uh, that one? You know, um, in order to become good at uh, some topics on uh, forms, it's, it requires a lot of practice. And that's what are we uh, uh, doing over here. Uh, do they have uh, examples? 
please do not be afraid if you make a mistake. That's the way, according to my good friends, uh, uh, my good friends in Mexico, uh, if you made a mistake, if you made mistakes, it means that you're learning. If it's, there are no mistakes, it means according to them not. Acid rain has been created as a result of burning gas, oil. Aha. Uh -huh. And the other day helps. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I read it. But if you are able to see the your uh, your colleagues uh, or your uh, classmates uh, uh, a statement, so try not to see it and write your own. Okay. But how is this one that I is over there? Acid rain has been created. Can someone else write another? What can you take as a as a as a subject over there? Huh? What can you take as a subject? The in the four one teacher. Ah, and now we have a uh, as a result of burning gas, oil, and coal have been oh. created as it rain. Yeah, it's uh, this one, I, and also, I uh, it's it sound uh, it sound does it sound good? How is that? How is this one? Oil and coal has created acid rain as a result of burning gas. Does it sound good or not? Oil and as and coal has created acid rain as a result of the burning gas. Teacher, I have a concern. Mm -hmm. um, I was taking a look about this sentence and um, could you explain me why you know, we're using has and have? Because we're talking about gas, oil, and coal. I guess, oh. I think, yeah, right? That we're okay. talking about three things and we're talking about day and not it. But okay. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, we start, we're trying to um, sort of here, but for example, um, uh, okay. As a result of burning gas, oil, and coal has been created as rain. So uh, uh, Hector says, "Is it, that sound good? That's... Can you use as a result at the beginning? No. No? I, I think guess yeah. it's acid rain because is talk about the result of the of the use the burning of gas oil ah. and coal. Ah, okay. I, I but think. it's uh huh. Acid rain. What would be uh? What would be? Acid rain has been created. Uh as a result of the burning gas, oil, and ah, yes, this is uh, Carla. Are you, are you able to see, are you able to see Carla's uh, sentence? Yes. Is that okay? It sounds good. It sounds logical. Hey guys, we're discussing over here. Uh, so um, I remember that I said a mistake, even though maybe I made a mistake when I, I did the sentence. 
What are you saying, Carlos? A uh, sentence. Uh, acid rain has been created as a result of burning gas, oil, and coal. That sound much better. Even my sentence. Yes. Yes, definitely like yes. Better. Yes, definitely yes. Even better than my sentence. Even better than my sentence. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> We're not perfect over here and the teacher of course I had to teach but uh, uh, sometimes we can make mistakes it's not like my son says one but dad you're uh, you're a teacher and you should know everything <laughs> yes I should know a lot but yes uh, let's stay with Carla's sentence good okay it, because it's, it has it has a sense it's uh, the word order is okay I mean uh, and it's a very complex sentence but at the same time, it's easy to understand the meaning of it, okay? Good, good, Carla. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, do the, the, the others, guys. Are you writing in your notebook or taking notes? Yes, I see that that you are doing it. Please remember to help me with your camera as if it is possible. How many six? Uh, do you listen music or something? Are you able to listen music uh, playing outside here or no? Give me feedback because I guess my neighbors are having a karaoke or something. <laughs> but they are not making a lot of noise. It's... Yeah, no worries. No worries, Mr. Levels. We're in your okay. day. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And even though today is Thursday, it's not Friday, but they are making, they are having fun. Yes, I can imagine for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually here where I live, it's kind of quiet. It's, uh, it's not very common that, that my neighbors make noises. Just the puppies, the neighbor's dog and my dogs. Okay, I have uh, got number one. A huge amount of corn lungs has been eaten up due to grub uh, of suburbs. Yeah. What is huge? Uh, very big. Very big, yeah, huge. It says the use of CFCs is product in products like air spray has created a hole in the ozone layer. It says true. What would be a sentence on number four? And a hole in the ozone layer has mm -hmm. been created, created through the use of CFCs in products like hairspray. Yes, that's that's it sounds it sounds okay. Yeah. What about the destruction? 
the destruction of the rainforest is is harming rare plants and wildlife. Also true. Future in this case, when we can use the word harming? Uh, have been, you say, you can say plants and wildlife has been uh, harming, has been harming, uh, maybe has been harming through the destruction <clears throat> of the rainforest. Okay, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Has been harming. This sentence is uh, kind of complex, complex eh? <laughs> they are not so easy. Yeah, yeah it's uh, complex. <laughs> and uh, I'm always very honest. You know, you, you're maybe uh, going back to, I can use the, 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 the sentences whenever I talk, but as, uh, sometimes we don't know what form is it, which, what is the way. And so even though we use it correctly, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's something. And the last one was because uh, running time, uh, sign, but more or less you got over there the the growth of suburban has been eating up huge amounts of farmland due to. Due is like the reason of. Teacher, teacher, one doubt. For, for example, in this, with these sentences, is it possible to use it with the uh, with the two ways that uh, uh, you have a doubt? I mean, with the passive voice, with the ing form, or with the uh, passive voice with the present perfect? It's yeah, possible? I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. Yes, it's not a it's not a, a time that you use it with one form. It is possible to use it. Um, Let's see, go, let's go back to, oops. Uh, it says a graph of a map. So could you write it uh, in one way, a hole through the sun? Ah, that we already, that once he's been created for the, the use of, uh, yes, that's correct. So in this case, what will be? Number six. A uh hole. -huh. A hole in the ozone layer? Oh, no, no, no. It says uh, the graph of suburn. Ah, it's the number six. The number graph six. of suburns has eaten up huge amount of farmlands. Huge amount of farmland has been eaten up. Uh-huh. Growth of uh, suburbs. Yeah, huge, uh, huge. Uh, uh, that would be a huge amount of farmland has been has been eaten or has eaten up due to the graph of suburbs. Yeah. Okay. Both well, ways are correct. Yeah. Yeah, you can, uh, as long as it makes sense and, and everything, but be careful. Sometimes we, we can say, we can say the same things in uh, different ways, but the exams or the tests or the exercise or the tasks that you have on, on, on uh, how do you call it, platforms, they ask for a specific way. Mm -hmm. So oh. as, oh. as interaction, we can use it in both ways. Or uh, and, and we're saying the same thing, but uh, but tasks on platforms they ask for a specific way. So you have to check the. In that case, I suggested to watch the video and to read in good instructions, and because many times we say on that one. Okay, guys. Um, I hope that uh, yeah, I think you're getting better, uh, but we need to practice. Okay, uh, ah, that's the, the ones that we were doing it, right? Yes. Okay, ooh, what's happened over here? I didn't put the, <laughs> let, 
Let me stop the sharing over here. Okay, sorry about it. Uh, Okay, so we're talking about uh, issues, environmental solutions, problems, and solutions. Because if we had to, if we would talk about about um, uh, about problems, we need to talk about solutions. And over there, we have been talking on the previous exercise. We have been talking about uh, problems. Okay, so that's that's the thing over there. So let me. Okay, Jenny and uh, Jenny, Adam, and Katie. I hope that we have enough time to are talking about are talking about uh, uh, problems and what can be done as a solution. So first of all, I will play the audio and take notes and only write the problem. Okay, on the second time that I'm going to play the audio, write the what can be done. Okay. Uh, so uh, maybe these people live in another country, but uh, it's the same thing over here. And the first part, only write the problem. Page 46, exercise five, listening. Environmental solutions. Part A. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Check the problem each person talks about. One, Jenny. Wait, don't throw that out. Why not? Recycle it. I've been reading a lot about how much trash we produce and what happens to all of it, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way to dispose of trash is by burying it in landfills, land that could be used by farmers to grow food and other things. The problem is that in many countries, the dumping areas have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. Of course, no one wants trash buried in their neighborhood, but it has to go somewhere. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. However, many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Two, Adam. I love my new phone but I don't know what to do with my old one. It's so outdated. I know I shouldn't just throw it away. Well, you're right about that. Not disposing of electronic devices and other appliances properly is a huge problem these days. Not just here, but all over the world. Many people don't know what to do with their old phones, computers, video game systems, TV sets, refrigerators. There are dangerous chemicals in these products and they have to be handled in the right way. So what are we supposed to do? Well, e-waste is not going away. With all the new technology these days, there's more e-waste than ever before. The solution is just to dispose of it responsibly. The good news is that there are more and more e-waste processing centers where professionals take these products and separate them into their various parts. Many of the parts can be reused, of course. Three, Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve, but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. 
Okay, guys, so time is running, time is, uh, time is eating us. So what is the problem according to Jenny? Uh -huh. What is the problem? The trash, the, uh, the trash. trash. Uh, yes, trash uh, dumping uh, areas are already full of trash, yes. Okay, yeah. and uh, that can be done as a recycle to start recycling and taking care. And number two, according mm -hmm. to huh? technological, yeah, technological items. So, so we, uh, oops, we need to dispose of technological devices, and it's a huge problem. And we need to dispose them uh, correctly for another mistake understanding over here are responsibly and reuse the parts that we can and according to Kathy pollution uh -huh, water the pollution water pollution drinking water is uh, polluted drinking water has drinking water has been um polluted has been polluted oh uh, or is being polluted you can say like that also has been or is or is being polluted Yes, and uh, and according to then they're treating all products more carefully, okay, all products that contaminate. Okay, guys, so time is running, and uh, this is uh, uh, on the conversation introduces what? Use infinitive. Use infinitive clauses and uh -huh. phrasing a conversation about solutions to problems. Yes, thank you, Ron, Romeo. And what is happening over there? There's a many solution. It's a lot of solution uh, pollution. Uh, there is a lot of pollution, and what's happening to the uh, with the fish? Is the there fish because dying. the chemicals? Yeah. They the are world. dying. They are dying because of the chemicals or the the chemicals that this factory because over here. The factory. Yeah, it's thrown into the water. Yes. Okay, so uh, let's only listen this real quick. Page 47, exercise 7, conversation. What can we do? Part A, listen and practice. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes. Companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Avox Industries. Really? My uncle is one of their top executives. Okay, we're not going to discuss the conversation, but the conversation introduces this, remember? So we see the topic in context, the forms in context, and then we got it over there. So, uh, well, the, this vocabulary is none. So infinitive clauses and phrases. What is the infinitive in English, guys? We already said. What word uh, is the infinitive in English? Two. 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 Yeah. Every, two. Every time that we have a verb, uh, in this case, we have two. Okay, two work, to do, to stop, to... Uh, uh, to cut, uh, to uh, find, and everything. So um, this is uh, it says over there the examples. So I don't have one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's manager. If you will look for the sentence over there on the conversation, is there? Okay. Another way to stop then. Okay. Another way. To stop then is to get a TV station to run a story. And then the last one, someone help me reading. 
the best way to fly a B I uh, H B I and I A's are to do tomorrow research, research and, and educate. Okay. So yes, I guess uh oops I wrong. So how do we form the infinitive clauses and phrases? It's like this. We can say we start, look over there how it start. It starts. One thing, another way, the best way. So that's the way that we started with a phrase. Uh, one thing, another way, the best way, uh, and so on. There are others. And then we have plus the infinitive, plus is R, plus the infinitive. Another way, we have one way. We have two and the verb, and we have is and the infinitive. So we have a phrase, we have the infinitive plus the verb, we have is, and then we have the infinitive again to finish the idea. So because we said one way to stop then, and then we had to say how. So how are we going to stop then? Uh huh. How are we going to stop the factory? To get a TV station on to, strong. To get a TV station, even though if you look for the sentence and on the conversation, you'll find it over there as it is. Okay. And they said, "How is that?" Oh, they don't like stories. They don't like to be on TV, if I'm not mistaken, the, the sentence. So that's, and that's the, so we need to say how we're going to stop. The same thing happened on the first sentence. One thing, the expression, then the, 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 the infinity plus the verb, and then we have is and plus the infinity also. Um, why do we have, we, we use uh, the infinity between is and talk? because we have two verbs at the, at the same time. If we don't use ing on the second verb, we need to use the infinitive. That's why we use infinitive too. And then we say the how is the thing that is going to be there. So for example, it says one way to stop the deforest. Ah, this is another sentence. This, uh, this is uh, I created myself. What is the what is the sentence that I created? Someone read it? Sure. Yeah. One way to stop deforestation is to create other ways to build. To build, to build uh, houses, to build apartments, to build. Like I remember that we said, uh, I, I don't know if yesterday or the, yest or, uh, the day before yesterday, that we don't, we cannot continue building like this. We need to continue like this up to the sky. So uh, uh, take notes of this one, please. It will help you a lot. And then you you can practice with other sentence. Not a grammar chart, not a grammar chart. If you have printed the material, so circle the words over there. But if it's not uh, just how do we form infinite, uh, infinitive clauses and phrases. Meanwhile, I will uh, uh, go the attendant. Uh, Ana Ivania. Ana Iva teacher. Okay. teacher. Thank you. And Daniel Alejandro Llanes. Present teacher, I'm here. And Edgar Fernando Portillo. Fernando Portillo. And uh, Eduardo Jose Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Gabriel Francisco Antonio Calderón. Francisco Antonio Calderón. Eh, 
Gabriel José Hernández. Giovanni Stanley Flores. I'm here. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Present, teacher. Eh, Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present, teacher. Janet Carolina. Uh, uh, no. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Janet. I'm sorry. I Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. Ah, okay. There, there was my mistake. Sorry. Eh, Janet Carolina. Jorge Alberto. Present. José Lino Alvarenga. Present. Julio César Campos. Present teacher. Carla Selena Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Catherine Lisette Espinosa. Present teacher. Luis Eduardo. Oh, uh, Luis Eduardo. Present teacher. Ah, uh, uh, no, me faltó Carla René, right? You are there. And then uh, Carla Selena Hernández. Catherine... Okay, uh, I just was confirming. Thank you for answering. Uh, Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa. Present teacher. Uh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present teacher. Eh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Eh, Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquía. Present teacher. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Present teacher. Eh, Net Netali Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Oscar Alexander Santana. Eh, Oscar Odulio Amador. Person. Eh, Rebeca María Rosales. Romeo Vladimir. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Eh, Sofía Elizabeth Pérez Torres. Present. Eh, Wendy Paola López. Present teacher. Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present. And Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present teacher. Okay. Um, uh, guys, so the time is already gone. So I will look for the way to send you the audios as you request. Okay, for you to listen and to start uh, and practice over there. Okay, because I needed to send you on a full file. On, uh, and uh, uh, okay, so no one by one. But at least I will send you the most important, like the conversation, grammar, the listening, understanding, and everything. Okay, bye bye. 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 Bye.